One of the number one most asked questions across all streamers over on YouTube or Twitch is how do you control recoil on that certain gun? And today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do so on the AK-47. And these techniques are gonna be able to work on both console and PC. I'll show you guys exactly how to do so with visuals as well, but you must have a controller. I'm a controller player, so if you're on mouse and keyboard, I apologize, but I'm specifically talking to my controller players today. And in the comment section below, let me know if there's another gun you guys want me to start working towards. We got the new Warzone season coming up, so if you know you find a gun that you start liking but it has a little bit of kick to it, let me know and i'll break that down for you guys so it'll be featured in the next video and if you enjoyed the video man it helps us out a lot by leaving a like and if you're new here and you like these how to's or want to get better share this video with a friend and make sure you guys are subscribed with those push notes on so you guys know every single time we upload a new how to tips and tricks and basically get you guys better and the best you guys can be hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out all right, Lucky, we're we'll focusing on, I think, one of the top three most popular weapons at the moment for the Cold War uh, War Zone season. And it's going to be the Cold War AK-47. Now, it's going to, you know, rain its popularity when a lot of pros were using it in these 2v2 tournaments. And then, as well as the last recent custom games tournaments where half the population was using the Cold War AK. And a lot of questions I get in a lot of people's chats is, how do you control the recoil on a gun like this? So, the first thing we're we'll talking about is the recoil pattern. The second thing is the very situational based on when and where you should be using this gun and finally i'll be showing you guys exactly what you need to be doing to control the recoil yourself whether you're on console or pc but the only thing that is unfortunate i'm only caught talking about the controller player so if you're on mouse and keyboard i'm not talking about you so we'll jump into the first thing which is the pattern since we're talking about ar i think this is a fair distance to say that most fighting will be taking place at this range or a little bit deeper if you're taking fighting anything closer than this most likely you're using the wrong gun in the wrong time so we'll go ahead and shoot this is not controlling the recoil whatsoever we'll go up to it so it starts off pretty center. It doesn't have any, you know, too much of a kick. And then from there, it'll slowly start going very slow to the right horizontally. And then right about, you know, I would say around the 30 mag clip is when it'll kind of kick back up and straighten back out. So it's not an S pattern. I picture it more kind of just kind of goes out and then back in. So that's the, this is the kick you guys need to be worried about. It's not the initial because this is all vertical. It's the about when you get, you know, at least halfway into the mag where you get that sideway to the um a sideway right kick that i think a lot of you guys are losing uh, control over the gun so after we looked at the pattern we'll jump real quick into what attachments you should be using because based off the attachment you use uh your recoil will actually be different so we're gonna have the uh, axle arms 3x and i'm using the default reticle that's a preference i have for this build uh depending on what gun i use uh, sometimes i'll change from this to the third reticle um grew suppressor uh, we have the Spetnaz RPK barrel. Uh, under that, we have the Spetnaz grip. And then right after that, we have the 45 round mag. Now, this is a Warzone catered class. If you guys saw my Rebirth videos, you guys know my Rebirth guns and my Warzone guns are completely different. So this is specifically for Warzone. If you guys want a Rebirth build, let me know in the comment section below and I'll give it to you there. Now, as you guys can see on the screen, man, there's not too much vertical recoil. I'd probably rate that somewhere in the green area where it's just initial kick. Most guns are going to have it. But when it comes down to the horizontal recoil control, it's going to be somewhere in the middle of the yellow uh, area and how you control that is going to be by strafing. I see so many times where when people are trying to shoot, they, they're trying to control their horizontal recoil by just looking left and right. That's not how you do it when it's somewhere in the yellow. If it's somewhere in the red where there's a lot of horizontal, then I would say yes, but because it's not, all you could kind of, you know, stop that by is by doing a little bit of a strafe. Now, some people think, okay, since it's going to the right, I need a straight left to straighten out. Yes, that works out, but an easier way to do it, man, is if you continuously strafe. Now, instead of your gun going up to the right, it's just kind of zigzagging. And if you keep that kind of tight and close, your shots, as you strafe, as you can see from this, it's not a perfect line up, but you're most likely going to hit your shots because if you look at, you know, the actual um, width of a character, that's kind of what you're looking at. So... If you strafe left to right, that's the easiest way to control horizontal recoil. Now, it's not perfect, right? You need to, uh, once you master that, and you actually throw in a little bit of a look right, look right, that's where you'll get, you know, let's see how if I have that much ammo. That's where you'll get, you know, that simple dot um, that a lot of the, your favorite streamers are having. But something where you're just strafing left to right, that's the easiest way to kind of get, it's still a little shaky, right? It's still a little shaky, but you're gonna hit your shots. And then all you gotta do is add a little bit of a vertical recoil control and you're gonna be good to go. So I would highly recommend when you're doing it, and I'll have a visual on your screen, if you're looking for something like this more beginner route, add a left right strafe. So that's with your left analog shift, left right strafe, plus a little bit of a modest, I don't know if that's the right term to use, uh, recoil in terms of vertical so the strafe is for the horizontal um 
the vertical is just simply holding down your controller you guys all know that with every gun and right there you're gonna get something close to this you'll probably start off like this right where it's kind of zigzaggy where your shots are gonna look a little bit more spread out. But once you get down to it, you'll start getting that pinpoint action. So now we'll jump into the actual live commentary where I break down every fight I take as I'm playing. And I did a live, a lot of people were saying, isn't live commentary supposed to be when you're doing it live, like in the game? And I was like, sure, we'll do it. So we dropped a 33 kill game, man. Hopefully enjoy it using AK-47. And I'll talk about all the situations and how exactly I control that recoil. Enjoy the video, man. Wait till the end of it and leave a like. Something I also like to say when you guys are playing uh, Warzone is continuously have the same land spot. I, I said this in my rebirth video. Have maybe like two spots you go, two locations. All right, lads, let's get this oh, shaky shots on that. Not even shaky. I just didn't hit him. <laughs> but uh, sorry. Have about two spots that you like to go, and then at the or two locations at those locations have two spots you you actually like to land at. Nice. Wait for a reaction. Always try to wait for reaction after a gunfight. You gonna push for the loot? Didn't. That nah, he probably went. That's probably him fighting over there. Notice as I'm playing through, I like to go cover to cover. I'm gonna hear him. I'm gonna jump up on that. I'm gonna have another upgrade on the Tech Nine. Gonna have him there. And pretend like I didn't see him. Jump out when he turns that corner. He's not. We're play by him. I kind of read that wrong, but then again, like you would expect a player like that to keep pushing when you see me turning that corner. On the roof, maybe? Yeah, on the roof. Throw that gas. And pick up every tactical you guys can, man. Uh, a lot of times I notice when you guys are in Superstore, you guys aren't picking up tacticals. What happens is not picking up tacticals. What that's going to do is no one has any perks at the beginning, right? Enemy dropping into the player there. Hostile spotted. Kind of a shock spot because I don't have cover. Enemy Boom, that sim's gonna literally be the only reason why we live off that. That's what perfect example why you guys need to pick up tacticals. C4 could have killed him too. Go ahead and pop this. Kind of a weird spot that I don't want to push when we have somebody also coming in. Uh, that message you see is going to queue that in and someone's going to have an advanced UV. They haven't called it in just yet, but they definitely hit the red door. Check those corners. Check that. That's not looted. You can only assume he he's around here somewhere. Going to close those doors behind me. Gonna cut him to the right. Gonna pressure him. Hearing that door open. Remember the one we close? And that's gonna be the kill. That's why it's important to give uh, closed doors. Not only is it gonna block LOSs from teammates, but it also gonna give you information when players open them. We don't have the money we're looking for though, which is gonna suck. Gonna reach out in the middle. Try to throw a live ping there, gonna miss it. Lost eyes on him, but we're gonna keep hunting. Losing ground. Yeah. Couldn't have gone too far. So if I don't find it by now, uh, what's happening is he, he was in a corner and I passed him. He's gonna be up top to the right. We have Deddy. I'm gonna pop this. In there. Should be good to go. That's a dealer ship. I don't know why. Eight kills is, is not a bad start at all. We're gonna go ahead and back up. I did wish I had more money because I want to get a UAV. That advanced UAV is gonna come and play. Now I know I can get it from inside, but I want to get some dominance over this heli. If he tries to push it. Now we got the AK in hand. See what we can do. Gonna jump up. 
Do a little bit of a three peek if you uh, see anyone. And get off the roof because I don't know where he's at exactly. These scans are going to come help. 32 meters. This is a fight that I like to like kind of consider as burning. Like he's just kind of wasting my time. He's kind of just holding that. He's not a bad player, right? He's not a bad player, but that player right there is kind of just vibing and chilling. And we don't want them to burn our time. I'd rather, again, like I mentioned, like the last game, kind of just keep pushing and fragging out. Top is going to be the hot spot. 100 players still up. We need to get it. We need to get some kills and we need to get the UVs flowing. Because right now we're burning a lot of time because that solo wanted to push us and kind of just hold the building. It definitely was a lot better than I expected, but still, like. If you're decent at the game, you shouldn't have to. Gonna back up. Gonna reach out. A quick reach out. Team wipe as well. Seems like he's on the roof. You can only imagine he's on the roof. We'll throw that out there in case he tries to make an escape. I would question me too. Hold out, drop headed your way. Is this player? Yep. Enemy maneuvering. Very hard to kind of visually see what's going on there. Gonna kind of pop that in there. So what happens is I open the door, he sees me there, I throw the C4, close it so the explosions go outside of that, and then from there, I back up challenge from another area, and then I kind of like just expect he's gonna keep running. And get that kill, have a bounty as well to rotate. And we have this. Review AV, but we know kind of where everyone's at generally, so we'll wait and pop it to like right about here. This player's flying in. He hasn't landed just yet, has he? He did. This player's pushing behind us. We can immediately get behind cover. You can assume he didn't see us. Then re-challenge with the AK. Yep. Again, cycling back. Gonna pop. Another one. Rotate. We're using this to rotate on the right hand side. I think he still believes I'm on the left, so he's gonna kind of push that way. Um, we see him on the wall. Kind of overpeaked it. Enemy UAV overhead. Nice bounty kill. And I'm trying out C4s. I think I mentioned the last game. I'm trying out C4s. I'm having a good time doing it. Oh, uh, but. I don't know if I'm going to main it just yet. Oh. Get into cover immediately. See if this player challenges me. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTP for recon's up. UAV entering the AO. Go for the hip fire shots, close that up. So have the player behind us. I think we just popped here, we could cycle another one. Push back. Player should be coming in from the air. Don't see him yet. He's not as far down as I thought he would be. Good shots, really good shots. Mac 10. Definitely gonna fry out the PPSH. Alright, let's grab the Mac 10. Slow approach here. Seems like he's peeking him in the window. Shotgun user? It was. Could have been bad. He got sniped from the back, so I want to hurry up and cycle UAV. Oh, he's actually... UAV entering the AO. Good shots. I messed up my bunny up and it almost cost me my life. Reach out from an area he's probably not going to expect. At least I wouldn't. Be 
advised UAV is bingo fuel. It's RTV locked. for resupply. Psycho, another UAV. I don't like to play guessing games when I'm playing this game mode. So I'd rather just fucking pop UAV. UAV entering the AO. They're fighting. Hopefully the non-ghost guy is going to win it. I could get in the mix, but it's just not not the best smartest play. Not the smartest play to go challenge a ghost play. So instead, we'll go ahead and yeah, challenge the player to wait for them to hold that. So we do miss it on one kill, but we also miss an opportunity of not dying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unfortunate. You thought he's not a bad player by the, how fast he turned around. He saw me cross. He should be sniped in the back. I want to continuously move. Now, I could have killed him in one mag, but the idea is we have another player in front of me. Player sniping at me. We're kind of getting surrounded. What I'll do is I'll use this door as cover. Rotate deep. More or less, when a person uh, pushes this area, what they're doing is they're checking out that buy station. I don't think they're going to check the far right inside. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Going back up. Kind of in a weird spot right now. We're not in a we're not in a comfortable spot. is weak but it's better to go on foot than it is to walk it in an area like this out in the open I'm gonna fling the car that way and I'm gonna cycle back all the way to the left hand side because the way the car is positioned it's not gonna look like I'm gonna be pushing back we have numbers going on as well I'm definitely going to wait a second. Two. Wait Twelve. for the comms. Enemy dropping into the there we go. Enemy nice. The way he was looking, there's another player below him. So we want to kind of get in the mix quickly. So we can loot both of those players. And we don't want this player to get situated. It looked like the other one was being a little bit more dominant. So we want to push up. Before he's done plating up and watching the cross. There we go. I guess I saw him. Twenty-five, maybe twenty-six with a little bit over thirty. Definitely forty pace. We kill him and we're gonna rush up top before the player that we just killed flies. Player just went up top. We're gonna go ahead and back up. This player's gonna camp up top. He's not gonna have much cover either. He'll probably shoot down on me. I need to get out of here. Damn, this might sell me. Guys over here. Let's do the same thing we did last time. Fling the car, cut right, cut it opposite direction, of the direction of the car. I just saw him. The way he's playing, he's playing very cautious. Could be just a bot player, or could be a player that's still in the mix of a fight. You gotta be very wary. He's gonna rush down. It's gonna be a fight. I wanna get a mix of him.
Doesn't look like a big building either, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just wait a little bit. 33 meters. Should be in the staircase. Should be right there. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Now, why I played that fight so cautious? Because I didn't have plates. Was I worried about winning a one-on-one -on -one without plates? No, I was more worried about losing a fight. Or winning this fight and then getting third party. Not having any plates to heal up with. Just should I still have another player over here. Five meters up. Not him. I'm going to go for the loot. See what he has. That might be a little bit more of a helpful work to have. Player explosions going on right hand side, left hand side, a little bit more cover. The rotation after that might be a little bit chalked, but it's better than pushing a person with an RPG. 34 meters. I peek out here. 34 meters. I peek out there. I have gold gas mask. 28 meters. He's pushing up now. Music box. I discover. What? How did you know? I think some people forget about the whole heartbeat perk that people have. I don't want to waste too much time out here. So I don't have to. I'm going to throw that. Back it up. Get in the zone. Watch it cross. I just missed it. Gas is inbound. Marking you. Oh, okay, so he should be inside. Go for a ping. Yep. We're gonna wait for this player. Yep, there he is. Could have anything though, so we gotta be careful on how we play this. Kind of just building up the pressure. If the player is decent, what he's going to do is going to back up and flank around. At least that's what I would. We want to go for the cutoff. Right away. Nine targets remain standing I think we have them on radar, so we can't. Yeah, there's two of them. Back up. up because there's another one you can go right and left but i'm not worried about him i'm more worried about the third party oh damn it unfortunate i don't even think that was a guy i heard either <laughs> No, it wasn't even the guy I heard.